What's up everybody today? I'm excited to tell you about something really cool that we did at Servers at Home. I've been trying to solve this problem for about four months now. You may have seen my previous video that I released about setting up your own Wiki.js. I've been on the hunt with the Servers at Home team, the helpers, the guys that you're used to seeing on Discord, trying to find a wiki that's gonna allow you guys to actually add content in and still look really nice. And we were really struggling with that for a while to find an easy way to do that. And it turns out that Wiki.js can do that the whole time. Uh, I just wasn't looking in the right place. So if anyone's ever been there, I'm that guy too. I, I promise you I'm human. So you'll notice here on the wiki when you go, you'll see this new edit on GitHub button on the top right. That button is the magic sauce. It exists on every page. So for example, when I go over to folder structure, which is probably one of the most visited pages here, you'll see the edit on, Git bu edit on GitHub button here. When you scroll down, it'll kind of hide itself. It's only at the top of every single page. But let's say, for example, you were on this page, which many people are. It's probably the top page that gets visited. Uh, and you're saying, maybe you see something here that could be better, or maybe you see just see a mistake, and you want to go ahead and correct that. I would greatly appreciate that. So I'm going to show you guys today how to do an actual GitHub edit. Uh, but first, I want to talk about what it is that I'm actually looking for from the community. My goal for this is twofold. One, a lot of you guys use stuff that I don't, I might not have on the wiki. So there's an ability here to add pages. The first one that I know that people are going to want to add is for Usenet, because one of the big questions that comes across um, the Discord server all the time is, hey, I want to use uh, NZB for this, and I only see the structure set up for Qubitorrent and Torrents and et cetera, things like that. That's because that's all I work in. Uh, I don't work in Usenet. So... For those people who have expertise in that and are using that, I would love to have you guys contribute. I'd probably put something down here, maybe in the R Suite section, or I don't know, maybe media management somewhere else. We can put another page here and load it up with all types of Usenet code that you guys could probably use, and Docker containers and, and tips and, and, and tricks, all kinds of cool stuff, man. So I'd love to see the community uh, dig into that. There's a, the second use case is updating things. For example, when I come down here to WG Easy, you'll notice here on the Docker Compose, I have this big red bar that says it has recently been overhauled, and this page is not reflect the new changes yet. I have not gotten to getting the Docker Compose file updated because WG Easy has done a complete rewrite. A lot of this is now no longer relevant. So I'd love somebody to come in here and help me. If you're using WG Easy, say, hey, I've already used the new one. I know how it works. I'm just going to make a quick a couple updates in here and click save and we're good to go. I would love that. Uh, the third reason is, of course, just updates and things that are like readability and usability. For example, the TrueNAS page is pretty busy. I mean, TrueNAS is, is, is a big operating system at this point. It keeps getting bigger and bigger and keeps folding in more and more usability. If you have a way to make this page easier to read, or maybe you under one of these tabs, for example, have more information than maybe just what I have here, um, I would love for you guys to add content or correct content that you see, or maybe just keep things up to date. Um, all these things are amazing. People that are using the install instructions page, or maybe using Qubit, because this is another one of the really big, uh, heavily visited pages here. Where are you, Qubit? Here you are. Um, yeah, no, I would love more input from you guys about some of the things that you've been going through here. Maybe some FAQs or possibly some like, hey, like troubleshooting tips on some of these pages that you guys have seen. These are all wonderful things I'd like to see added to the wiki. So let's go ahead and jump to actually making an edit from, let's say, the home page. There is only one prerequisite for having to be able to add to the wiki, and that's you must have a GitHub account. GitHub accounts are totally free. Most people already have one. If not, you can just sign up for free at any moment with your email. They'll send you a code in your email, and you just confirm, and you're in. It took me like 30 seconds to set up a dummy account so I can make this video. So basically, let's say I already have a GitHub account, and I'm already signed in. I'm going to want to come up here and edit on GitHub, and it's going to pop open the new link here. And now we see the home page in this little window. So the way I actually want to edit this, if I want to make any changes, I want to come up here to the pencil icon and click pencil. Now it's going to say, you need to fork this repository to propose changes. I don't want you guys to get scared with the language. I want you to follow the green buttons. If at any time in GitHub, you don't know what you're doing, there's always going to be a green button that moves you forward. So you want to go ahead and fork the repository. And that's perfectly safe. Here we go. So now we're looking at what's called Markdown. And in my last video, when I talked about GitHub, I, this is basically the quote unquote code that it's written in. So I want you guys to get used to like going back and forth between these two tabs. So let's look at the very, very top here. Welcome to Servers at Home Wiki. When I go to preview, you'll see here, it's got the little icon that's in this big header. The reason it's this header is because it's got this little hashtag next to it. And getting started is a little bit smaller. It's got two hashtags and you'll see here it's the second line. So I, in my last video, I talked a lot about Markdown. If you don't know Markdown, that's cool. If you just want to type text in like it's Microsoft Word, I'll come back later and make it look pretty. If you guys know Markdown, I would greatly appreciate that. But if I wanted to make a change here, for example, 
and say, your ultimate guide to self-hosting, and I'm going to say, this is my new edit. This is my new edit. Thanks for watching. Like that. So that's what I want to add. I just want to add that one line. No markdown, just some text. I'm going to want to go ahead and commit changes. Again, follow the green button. This is how you actually push this change to me so I can see your editing. Commit changes. It's going to say commit message. I would greatly appreciate it if you actually told me what you did. Added a new welcome. Awesome. Thanks so much for telling me what you did. Propose changes. Good. Now again, follow the green button. This is just showing you what you're about to do. So down here in this fancy thing, the red is what was changed and now it's green. So it used to say, this one section right here, welcome to the servers wiki, used to just say your ultimate guide to self-hosting. That was the red, it's what it used to say, but it's not gonna say that now. Now it's gonna have the green section, it's gonna have that, plus it's gonna have, this is my new edit, thanks for watching. So when I'm, if I'm happy with that, I'm like, yeah, no, that's what I want. I'm gonna follow the green button and I'm gonna create a pull request. A pull request is gonna send my GitHub account a message saying, hey, somebody wants to add something or change something on your wiki. Do you approve? And I'm gonna go back and do that. So now here it's gonna say, it's gonna copy the message that was before, add in a new welcome, that's fine. I'm just gonna, again, keep following the green button, create pull request, boom, just like that. There we go. So now we can see there's a pull request on the servers at home wiki. This is the add new welcome, there's no conflict, yada, yada, yada. So if you wanna add a comment here later, you can, that's fine. But at this point, you're done. I, from my side of the GitHub, are gonna see, of my GitHub account, are gonna see the changes and I get to either approve or deny, or maybe ask you to make some changes depending on what you added. So that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like from my side right now. Okay, we are now signed in as me, servers at home, and you can tell that from the little icon up here. So you can see here in this little box, I have unread notifications. And there we go. Somebody has asked to update home.md. Now home.md is the page for the wiki, obviously. So I can just click this and it's gonna take me right to my pull request. So somebody opened a pull request and, and I can see what it is here on the little commit tab. Uh, so I can click this and it says, what, what, is, what is the actual commitment? Here it is. Somebody removed this and replaced it with this. So this is my new edit, thanks for watching. That's cool. So I can come back over here and I can go back to conversation and I can go ahead and merge the request if I wanted to. Now, if I click this big green button, the wiki is gonna be changed and your, and your changes will be added. So I can come here and I can do that. I can squash and I can rebase. I can do a whole bunch of other stuff. You don't need to know that, that's, that's my side. I'm just showing you this is what it's gonna look like from my point of view when you guys are pushing to me. So back on the homepage, I haven't merged anything yet, but the cool part is this, the way I have the wiki built right now is it's doing what's called a bi-directional pull. And I showed this in the last video. So every minute this is syncing with GitHub and GitHub is syncing with this. So if I make a change here in one minute, it'll be pushed to GitHub. And if I make a change or if I merge a pull request on GitHub in one minute, it'll be pushed to the actual wiki on my local hard drive. So long story short, it takes about a minute for changes to get made after a merge request is a per, even if a pull request is merged um, and then it's going to be live. So. I'm begging you guys, please help me. <laughs> it's very hard to do this documentation as a single person. And I don't wanna be the only person in servers at home. I want this to be a community. That's what Discord is about. That's what YouTube is about. That's what the wiki is about. I want more input from the community. We're continuing to onboard helpers for Discord because I love the uh, amount of questions that are coming at us. And I really appreciate the help by a lot of the guys that you've probably been talking to in the servers at home Discord, uh, trying to get fixes and understanding maybe where you're going wrong with some videos, or maybe just trying to do something we've never done before. And I think that's great. So I, I encourage you, if you think you got the skills, please apply uh, on Discord to become a helper. Uh, if you see something on the wiki that needs correction, even if it's just a spell error, spell check error, man, just please go ahead and make a commit. Um, if you have some more information that you think could be relevant to the community, please add it. I want this community to grow and be really healthy and be a really great, safe place for people to come and learn, for people that maybe don't know what they're doing, all the way up to absolute experts that are like, man, I've been doing this for years. I just really like where the documentation is. That's great, man. Thank you guys so much for doing that. So I'm, I'm begging you guys, please contribute. Uh, and thank you so much for being on this journey with me and coming this far. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Please comment below if you're having any problems. And if you're having a lot of technical issues, please just comment on the Servers at Home Discord channel. Uh, and if you want to say thank you to me personally, please buy me a coffee.